many months later. Hi, you guys. I hope all is well. I hope you're doing well. 2020 has been rough, as we all know, and we all have been hit with this whole Miss Rona situation. And yeah, I just hope everything's going good at your end. You're practicing some good self-care. I'll put your mental health first because, you know, these are tough times. And yeah, I just hope you're doing your part in your community or just, you know, social distancing yourself. This channel is mostly dedicated to food now. You shall get fat with me. 2021 is going to be our summer body. So yeah, just letting you know. But my my blabbering, I'll show you this brunch place that you can hit up once we get out of quarantine. Hopefully no one, you know, not all of us bunch in there all at once. Hoping, hoping, and yeah. So check it out. So this is the place, El Bastardo between 10th and 11th Ave, more close on 11th Ave, on 27th Street. You can find parking on Sunday, um, probably two or one block away, pretty convenient. And what else? This is the website, big note, make reservation or else you will be pushed till night and it won't be brunch anymore. And yeah, so that's a big factor to account for um they are really accommodating and yeah it's a good atmosphere they had good music it was really nice everyone got along with each other and this is the real gritty part that we need to get to the 45 and the 65 prefix this is more good for like smaller groups the difference is the bottles that's it the small bottle or the regular bottle and obviously if you want to you know have a good time i suggest the big bottle the big bottles were making our lives, as you can tell. <laughs> and yeah, there's also the VIP packages as well. Down we go with the entrees. The entrees, you only get one entree with the brief, um, with the 65 or 45, by the way. Um, there's the classic eggs benedict, the Beck sandwich, which I should have got. Um, avocado toast, French toast, the chocolate swirl pancakes, which I ended up getting. The waffle iron omelet. The... Bastardo burger, the chicken and waffles, crispy chicken sandwich, steak and eggs, lobster benedict, their bougie, <laughs> lobster mac and cheese, and the surf and turf. And they also have sides for $10 each, but we just ended up being like sticking with our entrees and it actually filled us up. And one of my friends didn't finish theirs, so hey, it's pretty filling, especially with alcohol. Oh, by the way, Texas and gratitude, it's an extra 15 to 20 bucks added. So yeah, just 45 plus 20, 65 plus 20, that should be around the price range. And yeah, these are, um, you know, as you can tell, the uh, waffle, the avocado toast, and the burger. My friend finished, actually two of my friends finished their entrees. The other one did finish their avocado toast. Um, and I got the chocolate swirl. I have to say it was pretty disappointing. It was pretty dry. I needed way more syrup, by the way, because it was dry. The fruit was good, but eh, it was all right. It was all right. A good 7 out of 10. Oh, yeah, there was a robot busting out the moves. People were taking pictures with the robot. Really nice robot, by the way. <laughs> and, yeah, it made everyone's lives pretty, I guess, lit. Yeah, made their lives pretty lit. And I do recommend going here just for like a small birthday celebration because the bar is nice too. Um, and my friend was really excited to get the green tea shots. And yeah, it was really nice atmosphere and good service. The robot, as you can tell, ended the night with a special lady, as he should. As you can tell, I thought the place deserved a good 8 out of 10. Or brunch places I've been to. Actually, no. I'll be nice. 9 out of 10. Just because that music was great. They had all the best throwbacks. All the new hits. And yeah, it was a good mixture. Um, always switch up the genre here and there. I liked it. If you wanted to invite your girl from upstate. And your boy from Brooklyn. It would be a good place. Because they had music for everyone. And it was a good mixture. You know, uh, nothing was remixed, like, weirdly, so that was nice. Um, and what else? The food 
was okay. I think that's what brings it down a bit because the food was okay compared to, you know, your regular brunch spots and Dykeman. Obviously, the food be banging sometimes. So compared to this one on 27th Street, it was all right. It just, you know, some things just had to be a bit more flavored, a bit more moistured. Like my pancakes could have been more fluffier, but they were pretty dry. So, yeah. Uh, so I would give, my friends would give the food a good, like, 7 out of 10, I think. Um, and, but they did finish it, obviously, with the alcohol. I just don't recommend getting something sweet if you're going to have the Bellini because, man, the sugar rush was too real. I, I was, I had a kind of a sugar headache, by the way, so I don't really recommend the sweet, sweet together. I just thought of chocolate. It wasn't really chocolate. It was chocolate swirl, pancakes. So yeah. Uh, what else? A closing if you have any questions about the place too, comment below obviously. Yeah, I'll let you know. Thank you for hearing my review. Good luck. <laughs>